All right, every 35 millimeter film camera at one point had a functioning light meter. Light meters would just read the light, it comes in and the user can adjust the settings based on what the camera tells it or the camera can do it automatically, which is called auto exposure. But unfortunately sometimes when you buy a film camera they're like maybe 20, 30 to 40 years old and a lot of these cameras don't have functioning light meters anymore. Without a light meter what can happen is you can underexpose your shot, which means the camera settings don't let enough light in resulting in a darker shot. Or you can overexpose the shot where you let in too much light and basically what happens is your shot turns out really bright. Now just because your camera doesn't have a light meter doesn't mean you can't use it. There are two methods that I know of and I use every single time I shoot cameras that don't have light meters and they're proven to work. So today that's what I'm going to show you guys. How to shoot a film camera without a light meter. The first way to shoot a film camera with a broken light meter would be use an external light meter. You can buy a traditional one or you can use your cell phone. If you go in the app store you can download a light meter app. There's tons of them but the one I personally use and recommend is called my light meter. To use it all you do is enter your film speed, point your phone towards the scene you want to meter and hit the measure button. The app will display what aperture slash shutter speed combination you need to get a correct exposure. Put those settings into your camera and you're good to go. This is a great tool that you can bring anywhere and surprisingly it's extremely accurate. Give it a shot. The second method is the Sunny 16 rule. This is how it breaks down. Your film speed should closely match your shutter speed. So if we were shooting 100 ISO film, we'd set our shutter speed to 1 125th of a second. 200 ISO equals 1 250th of a second. And 400 ISO would be 1 500th of a second. And so on. After that, the tricky part. Now you need to set your aperture. For sunny days, set your aperture to f16. Less sunny, maybe overcast, f11. Dark, overcast, f8. Anything darker than that, you can open up to f5.6 or lower. To be safe while using this method, I usually bracket my shots, meaning I take three of the same photos. Shot one is of the exposure I think is correct, so let's say my first exposure is f11. I'll go one stop above what I think is correct, in this case f16, for my second shot. Third shot will be one stop under our original exposure, so f8. What this essentially allows you to do is create a safety net. Just in case the exposure you thought was correct was wrong, you still have two extra shots. One of them will overexpose, one of them will under. This is a great method if you have a special shot you really don't want to miss. So there you have it. How to shoot without a light meter. Hope this one helps someone out. As always, this has been King Japes. Till next time.